What's going on guys and welcome back to the Christmas Day Advent Calendar bonus episode. Uh, yeah, it's been an absolutely great year for the Advent Calendar this year. And as you can see by all the cool stuff down there, we've had a really, really, uh, really good one actually. Let me just slide this a little bit further forward for us. Uh, yeah, look at all these cool vehicles down here. Like we had the HW Pursuit, awesome, where we put the uh, skis on there. That is so cool. Uh, we'll just reattach that. Uh, we got the chicane. Uh, we put the Santa hat on top of there. So we get that to focus for us. There we go. How cool is that? And then we had the chocolate and caramel reindeer on the ice colored sled or the snow colored sled there. There we go. You can see all the harness pieces there, all that extra detail, and everything like that. Super cool. Uh, then we got some other accessories and stuff like that, like a little Christmas present. We got Bigfoot. Absolutely awesome. Uh, then we got a Christmas tree, very, very nice. Uh, and then we got Frosty the Snowman and with his green top hat. So many things, so many things. Uh, and then we got the Gingerbread Man, very nice. I'll have to wait until next year before I have those again. Uh, and then we had this little Christmas Hot Wheels button, very nice. Happy Holidays with a little snowflake in there, and you can see it's in the shape of a tire. Uh, and then we had the El Viento, very nice, removable top piece and all of that, super, super cool. Uh, and then we had the Synchro, nice bright colors on this, has the create art on the sides of it too, very awesome. Uh, and then we had the Track Ripper, there we go. Oh, actually, this is, no, it's the Time Tracker. Sorry about that, I always get these names confused. Oh, we've got the Time Tracker in that math livery there, and we put that onto the green sled with that wood panelling, super, super cool. Uh, and then we've got the Iridium, once again, a very, very cool looking car, I will admit. Uh, and then we've got this little attachment piece there where we can attach this to anywhere on the car that we choose, and we can have like a little hanging Christmas decoration. Probably my favourite piece in all of the advent calendars. Uh, and then we had this guy here, what was this guy's name again? Uh, we only got this yesterday. Track tune. Yeah, not too bad. Nice bright colours once again. Bright orange steely wheels, bright uh, tamper on the side there. Very, very cool. Very shiny interior in that one. Uh, and then we had the HW50 concept. Once again, a very, very cool car. We attached the track wheels to the back and the snow plow to the front. And then I think this is the last item here is the snow ramp. Yeah, pretty cool. We've had a few of these over the last couple of years. And that is absolutely awesome. And that there, I believe, is all of the accessories for the 2023 Hot Wheels Advent Calendar. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna just, <laughs> we're gonna grab this and we're gonna have a quick look on the front here. Uh, there we go. That is the 2023 Hot Wheels Advent Calendar box just there. Get that out of the way. And then we had, uh, I believe this one was, was this one last year's? Or was this one last year's? I don't know. I can't remember what the actual years were for these now because they've just been piled up into a box, but this is one of the previous years of advent calendars. That's really cool also. Move these things out of the way. Uh, and then this was another one. Once again, very, very awesome. So that was a really cool uh, advent calendar to go through over the last couple of years. <laughs> And then we had this one here, very, very nice, very cool uh, lineup of vehicles in this. I mean, look at the cars that you actually got in this set. Really awesome, got the bone shaker and everything. And then the last one that we have is this one here. Uh, as I said, I can't recall exactly what the dates were for these uh, actual calendars, uh, but we have five boxes here of all of the advent calendars over the last few years there so that is really really awesome i do quite like that little collection uh, but we're going to get these out of the way we'll leave this year's one just there uh, put those boxes over there leave that there so we can get that to angle so it doesn't have any glare on there will that work yeah that'll work <laughs> all right and we have all of this stuff down here Let's get all this stuff back over there. I'm trying to be as fast as I can because we're going to actually have quite a few things to look at today. So, um, yeah, get this stuff down here, put the uh, reindeer back on there. These little accessories can all just stand around. Uh, there we go. Awesome. <laughs> Got the ramp there, little button there. 
And then we have this bag of all of the previous year's pieces. So uh, yeah, we're gonna just go through a very quick overview of all of these pieces that we got from the last couple of years. And then they will all get jumbled into this mess of parts and pieces. So yeah, <laughs> all right. Well, we have a few items that we have from the last couple of years. Like, as I mentioned, we had the uh, little presents. These are a couple of the other presents that we had. So that is a really cool, nice lineup of different colors there. That is really, really cool. So put all of those down there. And then we had a whole bunch of snowmen as well. We have a green one and we have a black one there. Super cool. So we put that down there with those guys. We have another Bigfoot. Uh, there we go. This one's kind of like the opposite colors of that one. So that is pretty awesome. And uh, I think there was another Bigfoot here somewhere. Oh, there we go. There's another snowman. This one here has a purple uh, accessories for his little outfit. Awesome. Awesome. Um, gingerbread man. Gingerbread man. Ooh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Another Yeti. Absolutely awesome. So we have now got three different colored uh, gingerbread men. That's awesome. Put those down there. Uh, we have all of these harnesses here for all of the uh, <laughs> reindeer, which is awesome. I love this. So uh, we'll attach those to a car possibly. Uh, there's another reindeer. There's another reindeer. <laughs> here we go. More reindeer. I love how they are all different colors and everything like that. So that's super cool. Oh, got extra snow plows. We've got traffic cones for some bizarre reason. I don't know why these were put in, but now I have a couple of them so they could possibly get a use. Uh, then we've got some wood. Christmas wood. Everyone loves Christmas wood. <laughs> uh, we have some more of these sleds here. You can see the different colors there. That's really nice colored one just there. Uh, there is another one just there. So we have a very, very cool uh, lineup of colors. More Christmas wood. Don't know why they put that in there. Uh, here we have the Christmas buttons. These ones here are a very similar color, but they are actually a different shade of green. So that is really, really cool. Uh, very nice to have those there as well. We'll pop those down there. I believe there's another one in here somewhere. I think I have a black one of those also. Uh, we have all of these snow ramps. Snow ramps, snow ramps, <laughs> snow ramps, and another snow ramp there. So we actually have quite a good collection of the uh, ramps now. We'll leave those piled up. Wow, so many things. There we go. Um, more snow plows. Uh, we have a Christmas tree or a drag strip Christmas tree. That's awesome. I'll pop that down there. Uh, we've got all of the cars here too. We've got useless tires. I don't know why these were put into the Hot Wheels advent calendar either. Um, yeah, just <laughs> a little bit strange to have old tires in an advent calendar. Uh, we even have a rocket booster for some reason. Like there's a rocket booster here you can actually attach to your car. Um, <laughs> don't know why that's in there either, but uh, it's there. Uh, more skis more skis so we have different colored skis now for the collection uh, where did we find those uh, there's another snow plow there we have another set of skis there a red set this time uh, where can we put these we'll just put those over there <laughs> we have one of santa's little elves that's pretty cool try and get that to focus somewhat there we go, that's the best we can get for the focus on that. Pop that down there. Oh, we have another uh, snowman. Did we already pick this one up? Oh no, we just have two uh, black top hat snowmen now. So we have five snowmen in the collection. Uh, and then we have some Christmas trees. We have the green Christmas tree here with the gold star on the top. Uh, pop that down there. Uh, we had this Christmas tree, which actually is the same as this Christmas tree, which actually has this little attachment to it, so you can actually attach this to the top of your car, so it actually looks like it's um, uh, getting taken to the uh, to the home, like you've just gone and bought yourself a Christmas tree. So it has this little strap here. I believe that this, I believe that the strap for the rocket 
uh, is possibly uh, a double use for one of these because I think that this came with one of these uh, in the advent calendar. I will have to go through and double check on previous videos. Uh, well, if anybody else remembers from previous videos of the advent calendar, uh, yeah, let me know about that. I'll pop these trees down here, I'll put the little strap part there down there, put that, yeah, they're all just going to fall over. Uh, there we have another Christmas tree. This one has the red star on the top there, so that's pretty awesome. I like how they have the uh, different varieties of colours for these. Even the shade of the colours are actually different, so that's really, really awesome. Pop that over there. Uh, we have more of the tracked wheels. These ones here are in gold. Uh, we have another snow plough on the front of this, so we'll pop that down there. Uh, where do we put the tracked wheels? We don't actually have a section for the tracked wheels, uh, but we do have another blue set there, so that is really, really awesome. So, yep, we'll pop these down there. Uh, we have some <laughs> Santa's workshop. We get that to focus. There we go, workshop parking only, and you can see that the colors are slightly different colored yellow, so uh, still good to have a little bit of a variation on that. I found another tracked wheels. We have the orange wheels this time, pop those down there. Uh, here we go, here's the uh, little Christmas ornament that I was talking about. Here we have it in green. Love that, that's super awesome. One of the best little uh, additions to the calendars. Uh, and then we have a Hot Wheels uh, petrol bowser with a Santa hat and a stocking on there. Yeah, so uh, a strange little item, but at least it's uh, Christmassy and Hot Wheels related at the same time. We'll put that down there. Uh, and then we have another sled here. We have the red one with the brown wood panelling. We'll pop that just down there with the rest of it. Uh, then we have another set of skis. We have blue this time. Uh, where did we put all the skis? I had a pile for those, didn't I? Uh, I do have a pile for the skis somewhere. <laughs> where did I just put the other skis? They must just be down here with this stuff. I don't recall. Um, yeah, but we have all of the uh, reindeer pieces here, so this is absolutely awesome. So, um, I believe, oh wait, no, there's one more accessory. Oh no, there's two more accessories. Uh, we have another elf, this one here in green with gold ears and red pointed shoes. Uh, and then we have another one of these little Hot Wheels uh, calendar, uh, Hot Wheels uh, Christmas ornament pieces there too. So that's awesome. So that takes care of all of the, um, accessories and stuff. I'm just going to move them all into the picture. I know it's a little bit of a jumble of stuff, but you can see that we've had a great selection of pieces. Uh, and then we'll just have a quick run through of the cars that we got from the last couple of years. So I'm moving all of this stuff out of the way so we can kind of get like a little bit of separation for that. Um, and I also believe that this is not all of the vehicles uh, for the calendar. I wasn't able to find all of the cars, um, but these are pretty cool for the ones that we did find. I'm sure that there's another bone shaker in here that's supposed to be in here. There's supposed to be a purple bone shaker, but I've only got the black one in here. Um, so yeah, there's a few cars missing, so please forgive me for that. Um, all of the accessories are down there, I believe. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, this one has glow in the dark wheels as well. Uh, this one here is the Cyber Speeder. Absolutely awesome. Part of the glow wheels uh, theme, I think, uh, because yes, these are glow in the dark wheels. Very, very cool colors. Uh, then we had the Radical Racer, very nice. Uh, very cool looking fantasy cast in this with the engine sticking out the side there. Very, very cool. Look at the front of that. Yeah, so uh, there is the base for that. Very, very cool. Yeah, the Radical Racer. Uh, then we had this one, uh, what was this one called? The Mono Posto. Nice black with the blue and purple Flames, grey wheels, blue windows, single seat. Just a very, very cool, very different casting. So yeah, not bad at all. And we had the Track Ripper. Very, very cool. A very nice casting, this one here. Uh, this one has the adjustable front spoiler just there. So yep, very, very cool. Nice. <laughs> uh, and we had the Rip Rod. Once again, very, very bright colors. Nice bright green and orange. A little bit of a yellow front window piece there. A little bit of a yellow piece there. Uh, yeah, so very, very cool. Uh, this one here, I think it was the Monty Racer. Uh, yes, the Monty Racer. 
I like this one quite a lot. The colors are really, really nice. Single seat uh, driving position. So, yep, really, really cool. Some crazy wheels on there, but a really cool design casting regardless. Uh, what was this one called? The Formula... I'm gonna focus on this. The Formulator. Uh, yeah, really great colors again. Very low race car style uh, look to it. Nice wheel choice, a little big, bit of a aerodynamic wing going on on the back there. Very nice. <laughs> uh, and then we had the Croc Rod. Very, very cool. Um, this does look like it's the glow in the dark uh, plastic, but I don't, don't think I ever checked whether it was actually a glow in the dark uh, color. So uh, I do not know, but very, very cool. I do quite like the Croc Rod. Nice bright colors on the wheels. Yep, very, very awesome. Uh, then we had this guy here. Um, what was this one called? Faradox. There we go. Very, very awesome. Uh, nice clear window piece. You can see there is the seating position there. Uh, I'll try and get through this as fast as possible. Uh, then we had this guy. What was this one called? Uh, this one does not give us a name. Um, I do not recall what the name of this one was, uh, but still really, really awesome. Uh, so yeah, if anybody remembers the name for this one, uh, chuck it in the comments below. Yeah, really, really awesome. It has that Corvette rear end on it there. So um, yeah, no idea what that one's called. <laughs> uh, we have this one here, which is the Carbonic. Very, very cool. Nice satin blue paint, a little bit of red detailing. And uh, yeah, very, very simple, but very cool regardless. Kind of reminds me of like a little MX-5 or something like that. Uh, then we had the, uh, cust is it the Custom Auto or the Midnight Auto. Midnight Auto, very nice. Love that with the flames on the side there. I really wish that they put more hot rods into the actual Christmas calendar for this year. That would have been great uh, because I do quite like this casting. That's awesome. I like these old, old school hot rods. Uh, and then we had the Formula Flash back. Very nice black and yellow. Uh, there we, doesn't actually say the name on it, but I'm positive that this is the Formula Flashback. Uh, once again, a great casting, and I do quite like that one. Uh, and then we had this guy, the Stunt Team. Uh, does not have a name for this one either, so I do not know what this one is called. Uh, but there we go, a crazy looking thing, which kind of looks like half a plane. Uh, we'll just keep piling these on top of each other. Uh, then we had the Nitro Tailgater, possibly one of the coolest castings that's ever been made uh, for a fantasy casting. I do really, really like this one. So uh, yeah, very big fan of the uh, Soccer Mum van with the uh, parachute on the back and bonnet scoop, all of that there. It's even got the tailgate open to uh, give a little bit of a uh, spoiler there. Very shiny chrome interior. Uh, then we had this guy. It's got the uh, cycle guy in the center there. You see a little uh, guy on a motorcycle there. Uh, and what was this one called? Imperable. So yeah, very, very nice. One of those crazy creative customs. So uh, yeah, very awesome. Has the uh, moving motorcycle rider position just there. Get some focus on that. And you can see that he actually moves around. So that is really, really awesome. Uh, then we had the uh, Maximum Leeway. Very cool, very, very cool. Do quite like this one here. Yep, nice view of that kind of a uh, NASCAR vehicle there. Uh, <laughs> and then we had this guy here, which is the same as the one we got for this year. Yes, we have the Time Tracker once again. Uh, this time being within an older pack and in a uh, black livery, more of a NASCAR race style livery on this one. So that is really, really awesome. There we go, see the central seating position. Yeah, awesome, love that. Uh, and then we had this one here, which was the uh, 16 Angels, I believe. And we focus on this. Uh, yes, it's the 16 Angels, I'm reading it upside down. Uh, but yeah, there we go, nice purple gold wheels very very cool look at the engine sticking out of there so yeah really really awesome having this one in the lineup also uh then we had the drift star there we go. focus please try and get that to focus there we go the drift star 
the drift star, very nice, bright orange and uh, nice wheels, good, nice wide stance on there as well. It's really cool casting if you ask me. Really, really cool. Crazy looking rear end on that. Look at that. That's weird. <laughs> uh, last couple of cars. We had this guy here, which is, I think was the Electrac. Uh, Electro, Electro Silhouette. Uh, this also has the adjustable front splitter there. Nice bright colors. Got a little bit of a transparent side paneling and all of that there. So really awesome. And uh, yeah, really cool to see the variety of uh, cars in this uh, Hot Wheels advent calendars. Uh, next up we have the Shark Bite. Very, very cool. Oh no, this is the Shark Cruiser, my mistake. Uh, it's got the clear wheels, chrome engine, and a nice tampo on the front there. Look at that, how cool is that? And it's got those big chrome teeth there and the eyeballs. Uh, nice metallic green color. So yeah, very, very cool. Uh, and then we got this guy here. Uh, I'm not too sure what this one was called. Gazella GT. Awesome. Yeah, very nice. Has the uh, green window, red plastic body, and a white metal base. Also has the adjustable front splitter there so you can go around the Hot Wheels racetrack loops. So, yep. And the last car that I was able to dig out for the advent calendars is this guy, the Bone Shaker. Uh, this was just a couple of years ago. Very nice black. Has the skull on the side in white and blue. Uh, BS for Bone Shaker. Blue five spoke wheels, chrome engine chrome interior i love that and the, uh, the little chrome skull on the front there holding onto the headlights so yeah so really really cool casting and that is going to be the end of what i was able to dig out for the advent calendar so uh let's just move this down a little bit look at all this stuff so we have all of the reindeer and everything as well so that is awesome just get all of these guys there we go <laughs> There we go, we have a whole line of uh, reindeer there. We have all the cars, all the accessories, all the ramps, all the pieces, and all of this stuff here. So um, yeah, let me know what was your favorite piece for this year, or even the last few years, to be honest, because there's quite a lot of awesome stuff in there. Um, but yeah, uh, that is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for joining me for this bonus episode for uh, Christmas Day Advent Calendar. I know that it was only supposed to go up to, uh, what was it, 24 days. But you know me, I can't, I can't help myself when I start recording for you guys, like because Christmas with you guys, that's fun. I love doing that. And the advent calendar is just a little bit of a bonus that we get to do each year. So thank you very much for joining me over the last year. I really appreciate every single one of you ha who has joined, commented and subscribed and just been a part of this awesome journey. And uh, thank you very much for uh, everything. I, I appreciate you guys so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate you guys. And uh, until next year, we will have to leave the advent calendar down here. But we will do this every single year that I'm able to find the advent calendar. So even if it's in 10 more years, we will still be doing the advent calendar. So be sure to come back and uh, just enjoy the uh, the advent calendar and just, just enjoy the channel in general. Uh, because, well, the channel is as much of your part of uh, as much. This is as much as much your channel as it is mine. So uh, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. And there we go, guys. I'm just going to stop rambling now. Just just know that I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And uh, just have a merry, merry Christmas, a happy new year, all of that. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.